says the late Valentine's message. So, in case you're a Greek actor in London, all alone, recently broken up, and you have just heard against a lot, so you're about to drink all the bars, well, you got it all with Jeremy Irons. No, I'm not kidding. I'm serious. I'm totally serious. Here's the thing. My agent calls. I'm, I'm, I'm a wreck. I'm a total wreck and he tells me that I'm about to have a casting audition with Jeremy Irons himself. I can barely breathe from the tequila, not to mention from the name Jeremy Irons. And I'm like, no, you're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. You must be tomorrow at 9 o'clock. No, I cannot do that. I cannot have an audition in that situation with Jeremy Irons. I'm not going. I will be so embarrassed. I will embarrass you. Now, if you're not going, you're getting fired. And I'm, okay, I've lost a boyfriend. I cannot afford to lose my agent in London. So, I'm like, okay, I'll drink some more tequila and I will go. I'm a Greek after all. And here I am in the set of a great studio in White City near the BBC studios. And I'm like, oh my God, where am I? Am I dreaming or am I still drunk or something? And I prepare myself to meet Jeremy Adams, who happens to be the man of my dreams after Tom Hiddleston. And then Nina Gold appears. And I'm okay, I was prepared for Jeremy Irons. I was not prepared for Nina Gold at all. No, and in that situation, I keep saying that because I was not feeling very strong at the moment. And he says, okay, you are, your name is, and I'm Crystalia Kivaluti, Crystalli. Okay, you can call me Crystal or Gigi, Ginger Greek. Uh, okay, I like Gigi. Okay, we're on a good road. So, Oh, how old are you? How did you come in London? Why did you come in London? Have you prepared anything? Do you now? have a boyfriend? Yes. Oh my God, <laughs> thank God, no. But, <laughs> she asked me to sing. I was like, okay, uh, how, why should I sing? Nobody have asked me before, prepared me in Greece before to sing in additions. And look at me. And, okay, I thought, since I'm a single woman, a heartbroken woman, I can Your speak. Heart? Yes, of course, my heart on the floor. So I will pick up my heart from the floor and I will sing against all odds. I know, I know, I know, it's classic, it's so... Okay, go. Okay. Loud. How can you just walk away from me when I cannot? <laughs> you the same, something like that. But I went right straight right to the refrain, and I was like, uh, "So take a look at me now. There's just an empty space. There's nothing left here to remind me. Just the memory of your face. So take a look at me now." The boyfriend. But, but, but the lyrics were better okay. because I heard it in one day earlier. The boyfriend came back. No, thank God, because I took the role. <laughs> <laughs> so thank God he didn't come back. Um, yeah, and she was like, Miriam was also so emotional. So thank you very much. You can proceed in this next level where I was supposed to put off my clothes and stay half naked in front of Jeremy Irons. Take a look at my heart again. <laughs> Boom. There was no heart, no beating at all. And was, you know, okay, it's funny in a way, but at the moment it's not really funny because you should be real comfortable with your body. And as I said before, for the singing part, we're not used to such cussing in Greece. And for them, it's a natural procedure. But it wasn't natural for me. But I had to show my breasts. And okay, proceed. Okay. <laughs> I, I, okay. Well. Yeah. Okay, enough. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and 
after I got again embarrassed myself being naked and they were examining me, they were hairdressers, customers and I was like experimental animal at a point they were so normal and I was like okay relax a little bit, move your hands, make it around yeah. And I was only thinking... Greek Orthodox. No, Greek. Russian Greek Orthodox. Russian, yes. I'm a Russian Greek Orthodox. How is my underwear? Is it cool? <laughs> I don't know. And uh, I think uh, the whole thing lasted about 20 minutes. Well, it was like 20 centuries. And then it was, okay, now you can proceed with, with your sin with Jeremy Irons. And I was like, like this. No, please tell me no. But he was, that's why I love uh, working abroad because they are so professional and, and so mediocre and straightforward. He made me feel so comfortable. You know, he was playing with me, he was making jokes for my hair, for my nose, the great Alexander's nose. Yeah, he was like my grandfather. And after you were naked in front of your grandfather, and that was okay. That's well, I, well, I put on my uh, my dress then after in order to procedure. But he was there; he was looking at me because they were checking me. They were checking him and me with some photos. How we look if we match. That's what they told me after. I couldn't know. And then I proceeded I'm naked, half naked again. And he said, okay, you can dress up now. And I was like, thank God. <laughs> <gasps> thank God. Uh, and he felt my agony. And he, th I think that's why he tried to, to, to make me feel so comfortable. Because I was, I don't know, green, red, <laughs> yellow. And he, he was playing with his heart because I was supposed to, to wear a tiara. We didn't have a tiara. And he... He had a cowboy hat and he put it on me, baptizing me as a duchess. And I finally, after all this chaos, found myself not to want to finish. I don't want this edition to finish. I, it was like a rehearsal. And I didn't want it to end. I was, oh come on, that was it? Okay, can I? Put my clothes off again? <laughs> I have no problem. Can I sing again? I have no problem. It, it was worth it. And when I got penciled and I finally got the roll back, I put my heart on the floor and put it on again. And I never thought of my boyfriend again. <laughs> and he wants to come back to me, but no way. Because I have a lot of other heart, the acting heart, the acting heart. Oh.